Pimp the Machine though. Welcome back. One of my friends put me on to the, um, the chord mode for a machine. And I've been coming up with some cool stuff. Don't even have to think about it. Don't knock the music theory though. Both are important. You actually don't even know how easy this is. This... You actually don't even know how easy this makes chord progression. I had a bunch of candy, mentally slow right now. Here I lined up three claps and I made them bounce. On every other hit, it'll be a higher velocity, so like 150, 150. And I use three different claps just to switch it up a little bit, so that way it sounds real. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset them like a very little bit, so it sounds more human than like, because no one actually hits it right on the bar, right? I have this huge issue of adding stuff behind the camera without recording it, especially in the documents. I think the only other thing I added was a snare here. That's the beat so far. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it, then I'm gonna open up Logic and export this whole this whole project, each individual drum, as a stem, so I can edit the audio, mix it, level it, add whatever else I need. That's my workflow with machine. I don't really know if you guys have a better idea, but I don't really like to waste my time with it too much. I have all of the stems inside of Logic right now. All I'm gonna do is add some bass to it. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more melodic elements because I only left the initial chord regression. That's where I'm at right now. It's all done. You're gonna see it with my snazzy logo at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.